Mattingly, and welcome back to another episode of Bear Necessities WBSTB News. And now for past events. On April 14th, new clubs started. Make sure you find out who your clubs are with. Parents Day was a huge hit. Here's Trinity with more information. We recently had our Parents Day program on March 31st. Many students and groups participate in the program. The groups that performed were Mountaineer Melodies, The Rock Band, The Life Skills Music Class, The Deaf Middle School Students, The drum line, and tapestry. We also had several solos that performed. We even announced this year's valedictorians, Robbie Wolford and Xander Holstein. Everyone did a great job. It was a successful program. On April 17th and 18th, juniors took their SATs. Hope you get a good score! The track team traveled to the Maryland School for the Blind on April 19th for a meet. The spring dinner show took place on April 20th. And here I am live. Hi, I'm on the dinner show, and the rock band is playing music, and everybody is enjoying their food. Now for upcoming events. On April 27th, WVSDB is hosting the Hampshire County International Day. It will be hosted in the Brandon Building. Also on April 27th, it is students' homegoing. There will be no school on the 28th due to staff training. GSA testing starts on May 1st. On May 2nd, students 9th through 12th grade will be traveling to Shepherd University for a college tour. On May 5th, our track team travels to Maryland for a tournament. Good luck, Black Bears! Also on May 5th is the Young Writer Ceremony. It will be held in Charleston. Here's Andrew with Weathering the Storm. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, everybody. Welcome back to Weathering the Storm. Conditions this week will be normal for this time of year with highs in the 60s and lows in the 30s and 40s. Though precipitation chances increase after Tuesday, much of the soil and vegetation will remain dry for some time, so the outdoor burning ban may remain in effect, though this remains to be seen. Consult your local fire marshals about whether you may burn. And coming up in a moment, a chart of our state by forecast. That's all for weathering the storm. Back to you. Here's the Braille and ASL sign of the week. Hi, my name is Canyon, and this is the Braille sign of the week. The Braille sign of the week is the ING sign. The ING sign is dots 3, 4, 6 in Braille. The ING sign is used in the word spring. Here is an example sentence with the word spring. Spring is finally here after a long winter. Have a good week, everyone. Spring. This is how you sign spring. With your non-dominant hand, you make a C hand shape. With your dominant hand, you put your fingers and thumb together and then put them up through your non-dominant hand, opening into a five. This is a flower. 
This is how you sign flower. You make an O hand shape with your dominant hand and then touch both cheeks. Student smelling a flower. <gasps> allergy. This is how you sign allergy. You make a one hand shape with both hands. You touch your nose with your dominant hand and then you touch the tip of both fingers and pull them away from one another. At the billions of requests from one guy in Asheville, North Carolina, here's useless information with Phoenix. My name is Phoenix, and welcome back to Useless Information. We are springing into spring, and on the topic of springs, let's talk about some. Doorstops, specifically. Spring doorstops were invented in 1878 by an African-American inventor named Osborne Dorsey. The purpose of these door stops was to prevent damage to the baseboards and the walls. Thanks for listening in, and I'll see you in the next one. Now for Xander with This Week in History. Welcome back to This Week in History. A lot happened this week, just like all others, so let's get started. Firstly, in 1775, the battles of Lexington and Concord occurred, which is generally seen as the beginning of the American Revolution. Next, in 1901, New York State became the first state to require motor vehicles to have license plates. The owner's initials had to be placed separately on the back of the vehicle. Next, in 1970, the first Earth Day was celebrated in the United States. This is why we celebrate Earth Day. In 1986, an explosion occurred at the Chernobyl Atomic Energy Station in Ukraine, rendering large swaths of land uninhabitable for centuries, along with causing many fatalities. As further evidence of why we should preserve this planet, in 2010, a massive explosion occurred on the offshore oil drilling rig Deepwater Horizon, which killed 11 workers, sank, and resulted in the largest maritime oil spill ever. Lastly, in 2016, groundbreaking musician Prince passed away at the age of 57. That's all for this week in history. Back to you. Thanks for watching Bear Necessities WVSTV News.